everybody, Jamie here, and a lot of you responded so well to my smoothies DIY that I thought that I would try a baking DIY as well. I was inspired by a coworker at Girl.com who has an annual tradition in her family to make strawberry shortcake every 4th of July. But you know me, you can't spell cake without cupcakes. Wait. Reverse that. What I'm trying to say is get ready to make your own strawberry shortcake filled cupcakes. Let's do it, girl. All right, so for your cupcakes, you're going to need a cupcake tin and cupcake liners, a bowl and a whisk, a spoon and paring knife, solid and liquid measuring tools, and oven mitts. So what's gonna happen is, we're gonna make ourselves some shortcake batter, some strawberry filling, some delectable frosting, and then put them all together for some DIY deliciousness. For your batter, you're going to need two cups of all-purpose flour, one and a half cups of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of baking powder, four large eggs, a half a cup of butter, one cup of milk, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. This amount should make about 20 cupcakes. For your strawberry filling, you're going to need one cup of diced strawberries, a quarter cup of sugar, a half of a lemon, and a pack of unflavored powdered gelatin. If you don't have gelatin or don't want to use it, you can always sub out for one one tablespoon of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water. And to top it all off, literally, for your frosting you're going to need two cups of powdered sugar, a half a cup of butter, a tablespoon of milk, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, let's cake it away. Step one. The first step is to prep your workstation. Fill your cupcake tin with your liners and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now that you're all ready to go, we'll start by making your shortcake batter. Combine your flour, sugar, baking powder, and salt into a big bowl. Then add in your butter, eggs, milk, and vanilla extract and whisk away until everything is mixed together thoroughly. Pour your batter three quarters of the way into each cupcake liner, leaving room for the dough to rise. After you make that batter, it's time to bake that batter. Throw your cupcake into the oven between 18 and 25 minutes. You'll know they're ready when you can stick a toothpick into the cupcake center and remove it cleanly. When finished, take out your cupcakes and turn off the oven. Then let the cupcakes cool to room temperature. While your cupcakes are baking, now's a good time to make your frosting and strawberry filling. In order to make your frosting, whip together your butter in a large bowl and then add in your sugar, milk, and vanilla extract. Whisk everything together until light and fluffy. If you want to capitalize on the strawberry theme, then a really fun but optional step is to add in a little red food coloring and mint strawberry pieces to your frosting. All right, let's make that strawberry filling. Cover your cup of diced strawberries with your sugar and lemon juice. Add in your package of gelatin or your cornstarch and water concoction in order to thicken the mixture to a yummy, gooey consistency. Now is my most favorite part, filling up your cupcakes with your strawberry filling. Using your paring knife, cut out a circle from the top center of your cupcake. Take your time here to make a neat cut since you're going to be replacing it back into the cupcake when finished. You'll want to angle your knife in slightly so that you're more so cutting out an upside down cone. Using a spoon, fill up your doughy ditch with your strawberry filling. Leave a little room in order to replace your cupcake top. The last step is to go ahead and frost your cupcake. You can be as generous with the frosting as you like in order to cover the top of the cupcake completely to make sure that the strawberry filling remains a surprise. And there you go! In less than an hour, you've got yourself a batch of some incredibly delicious strawberry shortcake filled cupcakes. They're very delicious! I feel like you guys would have been upset with me if I didn't use that pun at some point. Now since we have a little bit of time, I'm going to show you how to make a traditional strawberry shortcake biscuit. For that you're going to need one and a half cups of flour, a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a cup of vegetable oil, two tablespoons of distilled white vinegar, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Go ahead and mix all of your dry ingredients together in a big bowl. Then add in your liquid ingredients and whisk everything together. Remember that this batter is for making biscuits. So it's going to be a little bit more crumbly of a consistency than cupcake batter. Pour your batter into your cupcake liners three quarters of the way. Bake your batter at 350 degrees for 18 to 25 minutes. All that's left to do is layer your ingredients. Cut your biscuit in half and then layer the bottom with your frosting. Then add on chopped strawberries or your strawberry mixture. Top it all off with the other half of your biscuit. And there you go, your traditional old school strawberry shortcake. 
yum. How did your cupcakes turn out? Tweet me at JB Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. Never think that you have to follow my recipe exactly. I'm just here to get you inspired. You can go ahead and make a big cake instead of little cupcakes, or you can throw cocoa powder in the mixture and have some strawberry chocolate action. And you could sub out any sugar for honey or any butter for coconut oil. It's totally up to you. And I can't wait to see what you've created. In the meantime, make me very happy and subscribe to our channel for a brand new episode next week.